Hey, this is Matt with Two Feet Two Worlds, and today I'm going back outside. I don't know what's going to happen today. I ran out of days on my pink slip that I'm allowed to use, so I was told to go get another one, and that's what I'm going to do today. We're going to see what happens. I did sign up for a QR code on my phone, but they're still processing it, so I don't have that yet. Here's the pink slip I was talking about. You can see here, 28th and 29th uh, February is used up, so I need one for March now. Got my new paper, so I'm free to go. If you guys haven't seen my previous videos, this slip is good for me for the month of March. I'm able to go out, get food. I stopped off on a little side street. I've always wanted to go down here, haven't been down here yet. Uh, I'm gonna check it out, see what I can see. You can see they're selling all sorts of like brooms and plastic items, chairs, big old basins, stuff like that. It looks like just tools and things like that. I don't see any fruit. All right, the part of Hainan I'm in, they sell brooms that are made out of old fishing nets. I don't know if they do that anywhere else, maybe along the coast, but you can see here. These brooms are made out of old fishing nets. All right, there's lots of shoes, like house shoes and sandals and stuff here. Huh, this guy wants to get through, not much room. Got some gourds here, some hollow gourds. I, I knocked on one a little bit, kind of startled the guys in here, but some kind of interesting gourd. This is all paper money and different types of money that you will burn for your ancestors when they die. This is all funeral stuff, kind of good luck stuff. You can see here this is a item that they'll put at the gravesite. There's a whole bunch of them back here. Little paper cars and paper clothes and all sorts of different items. You can see here some of the paper clothes. Anyway, at a funeral, you'll burn that stuff at the grave and they'll bring it with them to the afterlife, it's believed. They are working out some fishing net stuff. It's like someone's buying some fishing net. Pretty cool. Much more livelier today than it was last time I was here even. I'm actually going to go to the wet market, uh, show you guys around a little bit there. To get to the wet market, I have to go by the mall. I tried to go in the wet market, but they turned me away because I didn't have a QR code. I've signed up for it, but I haven't got my confirmation yet. But I'm wondering if the supermarket is going to be the same way. So they did let me in without the QR code here at the supermarket, but not to the wet market, which is a little strange. So they actually have hand sanitizer here, uh, stuff to sanitize with. There's no shortage, it's pretty much everywhere. Well, that's a first since everything closed down for the virus. I was allowed to come into KFC and I'm here now waiting for my food. Not allowed to eat inside, however. You gotta take your food home. KFC always has the coolest toys. I like this one, personally. Pikachu is his little Pikachu car. I will do a video on a later date about the QR code, but from here on out, I believe you need the QR code to get into communities, supermarkets, different places uh, to make sure that you do not have the virus. So in total, a taxi ride into town usually costs anywhere from five to eight UN. That's about a dollar, so not too bad. All right, well, that's it for today. Uh, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel, Two Feet Two Worlds. I have a ton more videos planned for the future. Uh, thanks for watching.